With check-in, we can avoid forgetting letting a friend know that we've made it home safely or to another destination. When you do this the first time, a guide is going to pop up explaining the details. The person sending the check-in is the one that will be leaving. If that person sends a check-in with a location and is not progressing towards that location, check-in will alert them first. Next, we can choose how detailed the data shared when sending a check-in will be. Essentially, limited shares your current location, and full is going to record the entire path while the person is traveling. I'll share full details. We'll only need to do this once, but it can be changed later on in Messages settings. The recipient of the check-in will be notified in three instances. If the sender of the check-in manually sends a check-in notification when they arrive at their destination, if a location-based check-in was set, the recipient is notified automatically when the sender arrives. If the sender of the check-in is delayed or places an emergency call, then the recipient will be notified. So for this example, Drew will send a check-in to Warren. Tap Edit, and we have two check-in types. Time basically sets an alarm that will remind the sender of the check-in to message the recipient letting them know that they've safely arrived at their destination. Or switch over to when I arrive and the sender can set a destination here. We can enter a specific address here or search for a location. Next we can set how far from the location a trigger will occur for the check-in. A large circle here will trigger it when the sender is in the general area. A small one will limit it to very close to the exact destination. Then we can set an estimated travel time. If the person checking in is driving straight to the destination, they can just check the driving option. If they might be making a stop along the way, time can be added here. I'll add another 15 minutes. We're once again reminded when the notifications will be sent, and then we can send the check-in. The recipient is alerted, and they'll be able to allow critical alerts from check-in. Now let's do this again with a timed check-in. I'll tap Edit and set the time to just five minutes for this example. Once set, the timer begins. At the end, Drew will be prompted to check in with Warren. Drew's iPhone has the dynamic island at the top of the display that displays a check-in icon during the check-in timer. Just having this visible can be a good reminder to send the check-in when needed. Tap and the sender can add time or cancel the check-in. Let's fast forward a few minutes and see what happens when the timer ends. Drew is notified and given the option to add time. The notifying in 15 minutes message here means Warren will be notified if Drew doesn't check in by then. So Drew will now let Warren know that he arrived okay. After that, he can cancel the check-in. It would be nice if the check-in was automatically canceled once Drew sent a message saying he's okay. But for now, it seems like it has to be canceled manually. Both check-in and location sharing are only going to be available to iMessage users which means that those users need to be receiving messages on an Apple device. iMessage recipients will always have blue bubbles, not green.